What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 video. Now shout out to the DoD Disciples of Doom. In today's Division 2 video we are going to talk about the chest swap exploit. This is a exploit that has been used in the dark zone for quite a while now and finally we have official word that the developers know that this is a problem and they intend on fixing it. So again, this is an exploit. So we're going to jump over to Twitter, see exactly what the dev said in response. And we're gonna come back here and uh, explain exactly why this is a problem and exploit in the game. So sit back, relax, bring out your popcorn or actually maybe your coffee. It is quite early, but all right. So uh, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe if you're new, let me know what you think in the comment section below, but let's jump over to Twitter and uh, let's uh, pull up that official word. And then we'll jump back over here and I'll show you why it is such a problem. So let's go. Okay, so now that we are over here on Twitter, don't forget at Kamikaze Von Doom for up-to-date news and anything Division Universe related, whether that be Division 2 or Division Heartland. Now, let's scroll down here and we will talk about what the devs said. Um, reminder, the PTS Phase 2 is uh, not confirmed for a date and time yet, but it will be soon. Um, let's see here. Oh, another friendly reminder. This Twitter page, at Division, let's see if I can click on it. Here we go. So this is a college project and is not an official account. So if you see anyone talk about this, it's fake, all right? It's fake. It is fake. He's been doing these for quite some time. He'll just sit here and he'll, he'll make posts. And remember, he said it is for a college project. So just, just remember that, okay? All right, let's go back, and uh, we'll we'll bring up the tweet. All right, so it was about three days ago, and here it is, Trick Dempsey. It's an exploit, and we intend to fix it. This was on April 8th, so let's click on this tweet. And it was uh, first brought up by Plum Conch 836 Now, this is a content creator in Australia. You can see right here on the right side of the screen. Uh, 10k subs. He does a uh, he does videos for YouTube and then he also streams on Twitch. So shout out to Plum Conch. And what he was asking is, please clarify Division Two chest swap. When apply a armor kit is essentially having a efficient talent med kit active at the same time as using any other chest piece. Is this an exploit for talent stacking? And Trick Dempsey being er, over here. Uh, expert game designer at Massive Entertainment, so the company behind the Division 2, said that, yes, it is an exploit and we intend to fix it. So, if you are doing the chest swap exploit from here on out, it has been confirmed from the developers. It is an exploit. So, just remember that. All right. So again, shout out to Plum Conch and Trick Dempsey for clarifying this. And uh, if you want this uh, up-to-date news, just join me at Kamikaze Von Doom on Twitter. And uh, you would have already seen this a few days ago. But all right, let's jump back into the game. All righty then. Welcome back. So let's, uh, let's try to do this. Um, I know the... Like, the basics, I believe. Like, I believe all it is is you're holding down the med kit button and then you're switching chess pieces. So let me see um, how we do this. Now, how people are exploiting this, let me uh, clarify that. So if you go into your specializations, right, each of these specializations have different med kits. So we'll start with Sharpshooter. So if we go over here, boop -ba -doop -ba -doo, armor kit repairs 100%. It removes all status effects and increases your burn or increases your bleed, poison, and burn resistance for 20 seconds. Okay, so if I use that, okay, with the efficient chest piece. Now, I didn't have one, so I rolled it on this uh, Yaw gear. 
Okay, so here it is. Efficient. Using an armor kit has a 50% chance to not consume. So right off the bat, people are using this talent in the dark zone so that they can, you know, PvP a lot and not have to worry about med kits. Because a lot of times in the dark zone, the two things that are scarce are armor kits and uh, ammo. Now they fix that by putting the ammo crates at all of those extraction points. But there's no real fix for uh, the armor kits. So what people do is they put on the efficient chest piece. They'll use the uh, med kit. And it will, you know, keep the uh, med kit slot in your character. Now the other thing is this bottom part. The specialization armor kit bonuses are increased by 100%. Now that's the part that is being exploited um, dramatically. So let's go back into the specializations, starting with firewall. <clears throat> so it says right here, the firewall med kit, your armor kit will recover 200% of armor and health over 10 seconds. So if you use that with the efficient chest piece, now you have 400% health and armor coming back for 10 seconds. So for 10 seconds, if you do this exploit, you're pretty much unkillable unless the entire team is shooting you all at the same time with shrapnels or whatever, you're not going to die. 400% health and armor. So even if they took out your armor, you're still getting that and health back at the exact same time. So what people are doing is they're switching their chest pieces while using the med kit to get this extra 100% boost to these specialization med kits. And that's how they are exploiting in PvP. Now another example, what's this one? Gunner. So Gunner repairs 100% uh, do, do, do of your armor and grants 30% bonus armor for 10 seconds. So same thing applies here. If you use the efficient chess piece, now you get 60% bonus armor for 10 seconds. Let's see, what does Technician do? Um, armor kits will now apply to all friendlies within 10 meters. So that would help the skills even more. For demolitionists, repairs and boost your weapon handling by 30%. Now your 30% is now going to be 60%. Like, it, it applies for all of these. Armor kit now goes over the 5 seconds and now applies to all of your group within 20 meters. Ah, eh, I don't know about that one either. And let's see, the burn, uh, burn, bleed, and poison resistance would go up even further because of this efficient. So I think the only two in question would probably be the survivalist and technician. I think those would be the only two questionable ones. But for as far as like exploiting, definitely um, sharpshooter, demo, gunner, and of course the infamous firewall specialization. Okay, so we went over the exploit. We went over what the dev said. So let's try it. I, I've never. Uh, we'll see. I don't know. I, I think you have to like change your button map because I don't think I can do this. All right. So if I hold down med kit, uh, uh, oh, you have to do it both at the same time. Did it work? I don't know. All right. Hold on. Let me switch. I'll switch. Uh, let's do this. Okay. Um, let's try a tankier one. 1.7. There we go. Vital science critical. Now, is that the right icon? It is, right? Uh, see if that even Serious trauma detected. oh there's the efficient yeah see I wasn't even getting it to proc so I can't even do the damn glitch so but that's how you do it you hold down the med kit and then you chest swap 
and you're supposed to do that while you're hitting the med kit. Like they're they're able to do it really quick on like say PC or whatever if you change your button maps. Um, but that's it, everyone. So this will be fixed. If you're doing PvP and someone's unkillable and you look at them and they don't have a fishing on, I don't know. And the chances of them doing the exploit now that this is like pure mass media public knowledge is going to be pretty high until they fix this. So, yeah. Watch your back out there in the dark zone in conflict. I am Kamikaze Von Doom. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.